Goats doing their thing again, playing on the log piles. They are quite the climbers. going to do now. Go ahead, jump over there. Go ahead. Showing off for the camera. Rose, what are you doing up there? Can you jump from there? Looking for stuff to eat. They're always looking for things to eat. Bless you back there. Okay, you can see here I've made more progress on the path, and I put the chips very thick, at least six inches thick, um, and thicker in areas that I need to build up. And there's a little offshoot path going over into the goat play area. And um, it's slow going because these trails are, you know, ten feet wide probably. And you can see I still have huge piles of chips. We've got three huge piles left. And as I go up through here, I'll build the chips up and fill in any holes and, and level this all out with chips. It'll be a nice walking path up yonder. We never did finish this before the storm started. If you recall last, uh, well, early this year, I came through here with a bulldozer and cleaned this out and made a pathway. And then the storm came through and cleaned out a bunch of trees and and of course we've had to have them all cut up and stacked and we've got probably six or eight cords of wood around here stacked a huge amount of wood which I will never be able to burn at all I don't think but we're slowly getting things back to normal after the storm next thing we have to do is that fence you can see over yonder the fence all broken up we're gonna have to get that replaced but uh, It'll be nice once these trees start, the trees that remain start filling out. We probably lost 75% of our, our mature trees. Huge number of trees we lost in the storm. But we still have a fair number of trees left that as they fill out, we should get some more shade back in here. It was totally shaded before. It was really beautiful back here, if you recall from my earlier videos. But few years of these trees filling out and hopefully we'll get some more shade back. Working away at it.